Okay guys, what I'm going to show you today is uh, 2.1.3. I modified this assignment uh, because obviously we can't use Inventor, so we can't download all the files that they want and, and all that fun stuff, so I kind of modified it. And we'll use this, so the, the parts that you are making today is what we're going to use for the rest of uh, 2.1 so uh, it's 2.1.4 I believe is the only other assignment we have left um, but there's a good chance we'll use them again before we're done with unit 2 so uh, let's get started here what I'm gonna have you guys do is you're gonna uh, create a new a new uh, document here and we're gonna just call this uh, model car We're gonna create a little model car, and you gotta bear with me on my tutorial video here. This is I'm on my my Wi-Fi at home. It's very slow. So if if you guys have slow Wi-Fi, you probably seen the same thing. It doesn't want to work very well. Uh, on shape can kind of slow down and bog down a little bit with bad Wi-Fi. Uh, it's still usable, but what I'm gonna to try to do is anytime that we are virtual or hybrid or anything like that. I'm going to try to make the assignments a little shorter because I know, you know, when we're not on great Wi-Fi, it could take a little longer. Now, um, before we begin making this, um, I'm just going to talk about we're going to make parts and we're going to add parts down here with this little uh, plus sign. So let's start out. We're going to make the car body. So we're going to hit sketch and click on the front view. And the car body is going to be... A rectangle here and we want it to be six inches long and we want it to be two inches high and then we're gonna finish that and then we're going to extrude that and we want this car to be three and a half inches wide so we're gonna click on it we clicked extrude there, we clicked on that. Now we want that 3.5 inches wide. So if you see how I did that again, uh, I clicked up here next to sketch, I clicked extrude. I'm kind of fast there, so I apologize. I clicked on the rectangle, I put my mouse over it, it highlights, and then I changed that depth to three and a half inches, and then hit the check mark. All right, so I've got that. Now the one thing I am gonna do is, uh, I'm going to put a hole right in the middle of this. Uh, actually, I'm going to put three holes in this. So the first, I'm going to put holes for the axles. So, you know, you think about this is going to be a car. Think about this as being like the body of the car. Um, we're going to put two holes here for axles. So let's do that first. So we'll put a sketch. We'll put a new sketch on the side here. And then we are going to put a circle and another circle and we're going to dimension those those circles we want to be 0.3 inches in diameter uh, 0 0.25 sorry 0.25 inches in diameter and it made them both that way now i'm going to dimension the location of the circle so now, as I zoom in, I want this hole here to be 0 0.75 inches from the front of the car. And I want this hole here to be 0 0.75 inches from the back of the car. And then I want them to be the same height up and down. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to make this exactly one inch from the top of the car. I'm going to do the same with this one. So now your, your dimensions should look very similar to these. One inch from the midpoint of that circle to the top of the car, 0 0.75 inches from the midpoint of that circle to the front, and identical dimensions there on the back. And now I can finish that. And then I'm going to extrude and cut holes in there. 
Okay, and I want them to go all the way through. So see how I selected both of them there? Uh, now I can hit uh, through all. And change the direction. And it should. It didn't make them. Okay, let me go back. Let me undo that. Let me see if I can. Get that to work again. Ah, there we go. I forgot to hit remove. So up here at the top, now you see I hit, let me redo that again one more time just so you guys can see it. Um, I can extrude. And then I selected both circles. And then I changed that to through all. And notice how it makes them really, really long. Well, I don't want that, obviously. I don't want them sticking out. I want those to be holes for my axles to go through. So I'm going to change the direction right here. And then I have to click remove. Um, and now it'll cut those holes. If I had it on add, I was trying to build up a part. With remove, it'll make those holes. So now I can hit this. And as I rotate this part around, you can see through those holes. Okay. The last hole that I'm going to put on, on this is going to be right in the middle at the top. So I'm going to put one hole here. Let's look at that again. And we're going to put a circle. And just to keep it all easy, all of our holes here are going to be 0.25 inches. And again, I'm going to dimension this uh, so that it's in the middle. This was... Uh, I thought that was... Let's see here. Hold on. Uh, let me... Oh, I made that three and a half inches, didn't I? So that needs to be 1.75 inches. Perfect. There we go. And then... So, sorry, from the top, it should be 1.75 inches. I messed up my dimension there. And then we want that to be three inches from the back. So now that circle is smack dab in the middle of this. And we can now extrude that hole through using the exact same thing we did last time. So we're going to do through all. We're going to change it to remove. And now notice that we've got this block. We've got a hole in the top and two holes in the side. So here's what we're going to do with this. Now we've got our car body. So now we need to make an axle. We need to make wheels. And we need to make a top. Well, I'm going to show you how to do these. You only have to make one of each thing. So down here in the bottom left, there's this plus sign. Let's click it. And you're going to hit Create Part Studio. And now you notice down here at the bottom, you've got multiple tabs, Part Studio 1, Part Studio 2, Assembly. Uh, and you can toggle back and forth, similar to how you can on Inventor, between your parts. So let's make our wheels. So we new sketch on the front plane here. I make a wheel. And I want these wheels to be, I want them to be three and a half inches in diameter. All right. And then I want to put a circle, a hole through the middle of it. But I need to extrude it first before I can do that. So I need to extrude it. So I hit extrude. I click on that. And then I want them to be 0 0.25 inches thick. Now I've got a flat disc. Now I can put that hole through the middle of that disc. So we'll put another sketch on here.
And you can probably guess I want this hole to be 0.25 inches. Finish that. And then we're going to extrude that hole. Same thing we've been doing. Remove through all. Check mark. And now I've got a hole. I've got a wheel with that hole through the middle of it. So now, when we look back here, I'm going to do another part, create part studio. Now I'm going to make the axle. Now, my car is three and a half inches wide, and each wheel is a quarter of an inch. So what I'm going to do, so that makes the whole thing three and a half plus a quarter plus a quarter. The whole thing is four inches wide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make my axle just a little bit wider than that so that it's going to stick out a little bit on each end. And you'll see why, and you'll see how it'll work here in just a sec. So what I'm going to do, real simple, I'm going to create that axle. So sketch, I'm going to sketch on the front. I'm going to use a circle. And again, 0.25 inches. And then we're going to extrude that circle. So hit extrude, click on the circle. And I said it's going to be four inches wide. We want to make our axle a little bit longer. So let's just go ahead and make it four and a half. Uh, just for the uh, sake of what we're doing here. So now we've got that four and a half inch axle. So now I've got the car body, I've got a wheel, and I've got the axle. Now obviously I need two axles and four wheels, but I'll show you how to do that here in just a sec. So, hopefully this is still working. It seems like it's still working. Yes, okay. Sorry, I had to change something here. So now I'm gonna to go to assembly. And you notice there's nothing here on the assembly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all of these things in. So now, uh, you see I'm going to go up here, if you missed it, I clicked insert up here in the top left corner. And you notice I can insert part one, part two, part three. And if I just click on them, it inserts it in there. And you can place it wherever you want. I just want it right there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit to alleviate some confusion. Part two, now I said I want four wheels, so I can go ahead and put in all four wheels right now. And I can put in two axles right now. Okay, now what we wanna do is we wanna line these First up, we're going to line the wheels up with the body. The axles will go in last. So what we're going to do, we've got our car body here, and we've got our wheels. We're going to use these mates. Um, once we're in an assembly, you notice these things up here all change. We don't have extrude and stuff like that anymore. We have mates. And this is the only thing about Onshape that is way different than Inventor, is the mates. And this is why um, I'm using a different assignment than what the Project Lead the Way people do, because it's it's complex and difficult, especially with slow internet connections, to do everything that the project lead the way people want you to do. So that's why we're doing it my way, um, because I know that some of you guys, again, are like me, have bad internet, and it's slow for you. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the uh, Revolut Mate. All right, so the first one, we're going to click on that. And like I said, we want to line up these wheels with these holes. So let's, what I want to do is I want to line up this hole with that hole there. So let's click on the hole. And then let's click on that hole. And you notice what it did, it moved the wheel down there where those two line up. But you notice how the wheel is actually in the car, not outside the car. That's where I've got to use this little arrow. Um, flip primary axis, 
and then it flips it so that it's outside of there. All right, so I can hit that. We're going to do that four times. So we're going to do four more Revolute mates here. And each one I will probably have to flip that. And I don't know why it does that. Auto, you know, it apparently thinks that you want to build that thing in the middle of that. Um, I don't know why it does it that way, but uh, pretty easy fix there. So now we've got our wheels in place for our little car. Um, now what we need to do is put our axles in there. It'll automatically try to make a fifth revolute mate. You don't need that. Um, so now I've got my car and you can see as I click and grab it and drag it around um, it won't let me like the wheels stay with it because those those wheels the holes are now permanently aligned with the holes on the block um, so now we're going to use a mate and uh, if we wanted to actually build this and let the wheels roll and stuff like that we would do this a little bit different but for what we're doing right now um, this will work just fine you could, um, you can click and you can actually make it so that you can spin the wheels um, and turn them and stuff like that. And I'll show you how to do that in a later uh, thing. But right now, we're just assembling it. We're just practicing assembling it. And you can look through and you can see those holes that go all the way through. So now we're going to use a slider mate. Um, and this is going to let those pins, the axles, slide right on in there. So if I click on slider mate, and I'm going to click on the axle, and I'm going to click on that hole, and notice what it did. It put it in there, and now, oops, I don't want slider 2 yet. Now, see how it's sticking out a little bit here? I can actually grab that. And see how I could slide it back and forth until it's just sticking out a little bit on each side. Now I could get rid of that if I wanted. If I wanted to fix that whole thing together, um, it's it's something you could do. But for the sake of what we're doing for this assignment, I didn't really see much of a purpose in that. So um, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it this way. Um, then we're going to do the same thing with the other axle. If you, by the way, if you get done with this um, soon in class, you know, if, so if you're in class, you have good internet here at the school, uh, and you get done with it like that, then if you want to play around with this, there's some tutorial videos online how you can get these, where you can get the wheel to turn around the axle. Um, you're welcome to play with that. You can also uh, click up here in Learning Center. And there's some videos on how to do that as well. And as we said, there's that. And now we have our little, we have our little car. Okay. Um, now I told you we were also going to put a top on the car. So um, here's my thinking. Let me see where we're at time-wise, real quick. Um, we are at 20 minutes. So. If you are, um, we're going to go ahead, we'll put the top on the car. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this video here, and then I'm going to show you how I want you to make the top here in a, a second. So we're going to have two separate videos here for assembling this and putting it all together. Uh, so as I slide that back in, make it kind of even. So I'm going to stop this video, and then, like I said, I'll uh, have a second video showing you how to make the top on here.